It is kind of tedious to have to go back and forth from upstairs and downstairs. I will say that. But that's that's Resident Evil. We're, we're just, yeah, this entire level is just like peak Resident Evil. Hopefully, after this area, there's like... Oh my god, no, it is Resident Evil. We, except we started in the lab instead of going to the lab at the end. They just did it in the opposite order. I figured you out, Galarians. Alright. Let's go put the painting on the wall and that will do something. You should at least watch it. You should watch LPs of Resident Evil. Conveniently, I have a full Resident Evil series playthrough on my channel that you could watch. And it's good. I didn't play the originals for RE2 and RE3, though. I played the remakes, which I, and I think I might go back to the originals for RE2 and 3 at some point. Um. um, 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 um. What? Who made this place? Did Spencer make this place? Oh, I should have figured. Yeah, I should have figured that was something. I I, I kind of thought that was something, but I thought it was like a a sign that maybe there was something at the window, not necessarily a fucking trap door. Wait. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. When I looked at the circle and square holes, I forgot there was something I could do when I was looking at them. You would think I would remember the one thing, the, not the one thing, like one of the main things I think is really cool about this game. But apparently not. Was that a bathroom? That was a bathroom. That's a balcony. That's the bedroom. Let's come over here and look at this. Bedroom. What? But I... But I've been in there. I... What? At least I have the shortcut now. Also, I think I want to go into the end of this section. Because this section feels like it's shorter than... Um others. So that bathroom was on the other side of the fucking house. Kind of sucks that also there we haven't really had any enemies for a little bit. Like, they haven't repopulated yet. Oh, uh, we still have the shed, too. There's got to be some shit in the shed, right? There always is. So like, I don't know what you'll fucking find if you go into my shed. Some bullshit, that's what. Uh. Oh, I... Yeah, okay, no, I get it, because it's trying to direct me to see these scenes, so it's I have to do these things in a specific kind of order. Oh! No! Go away! That's what goes in the... What? That looks like a kid. Y yeah, it did, Rion. We... 
don't have anything that could do anything about that, do we? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you have psychic powers. Use those. My mother's right. Oh, okay. I guess she's my mom now. Fuck you, Vion. Stop getting caught on the fucking molding. Okay. Um. So that we have the circle ring. I guess we'll get our dad's ring from the jewelry box, which will be a square ring. And then we'll use that to open the bookcase. Secret bookcase door. Ooh. It's my assumption, anyway. And maybe that goes into the shed. No, wait. Then what about the pool table? The pool table can't just be nothing, right? Why were there tire tracks going into the pond? Um... Not this way. Mm. It unlocked. Yeah, okay, so that's done. Got it. Now we go to the library. Which is unfortunately across the hole, so we're going to have to risk it. Is that person in the house waiting for us to do all this so they don't have to do it? It is rather inconvenient. They're gonna be like, oh ho ho ho, you found the secret of your family for me. I'll be taking that. And then they'll go to like an evil lab or something and then Rion will have to follow them. Or I guess they'll take Rion. Just, why not? So, this goes in the square hole. That's right. It goes in the square hole. Wait. Wait. Did... <sighs> the ring stayed in the box. Why did they do that? Uh, like, if they know I have two uses for the ring, and I'm gonna go to the second use immediately after getting the second ring, why would they make the first ring stay in the box and not just stay in my inventory after I use it to unlock the box to get the second ring? That's, uh, that's really stupid.
Oh my god, yeah, like... Like, what? Why? Why is that like that? I just- I, I used the ring like a key. Oh, now there's freaks again. Okay. So having the sec having both rings is what triggers the freaks. Those actually scared me, Jesus. <laughs> like that was genuinely scary. Just suddenly seeing those there and not expecting them. <sighs> I need to actually take a deep breath there, because fuck. Man, you guys suck. You're bad at your jobs, man. Okay. It goes in. The square hole. That was the wrong button. Thumbs up. Let's check this shit. Ooh. Balls. My dear son, Rion. If you ever get this message, your mother and I have probably already been killed. But before you start mourning our death, there is something there you, is must something do. you must do. Must do. Seven years ago, Dr. Pascal, a friend of mine, completed a next generation computer named Dorothy. Dorothy was a revolutionary computer with the ability to make its own decisions and repair itself. Under her own power, Dorothy grew completely new cellular circuits, enabling her to abandon her old system kernel. Her growth continued smoothly, and before long, she was controlling her senior computers and rose to the status of Michelangelo City's mother computer. That was when Dorothy's insanity <laughs> began. She began wondering why such an inferior... I want to watch the Wiggles. ...humankind should not be wiped out. And why she could not kill people even though people kill each other. So I told her about the existence of God. I told her that God was the master of creation. God created humankind, and our fate is in his hands. No one can deny this. In Dorothy's case, her creator was humankind. In other words, Dorothy's God was humankind. Hmm. She must obey the fate we decide for her. It appeared Dorothy accepted this accepted and began this serving, began humankind, serving again. humankind again. However, she secretly began simulating God's existence over and over again until she reached her final solution. Her solution Can't say that. Was the family Don't be the family saying that. Dorothy placed the city's memorial hospital under her control. Can't say final solution. Experiments on humans. She wanted to create a race of humans with psychic powers and mm. absolute loyalty to her. She called them Galerians, <gasps> and she was their god and creator. Dorothy was trying Dorothy to create trying her own create world, her world with herself, with herself as god. Yo! The family program was a ritual for her to become God. Look at that guy! However, Dr. Pascal and I had a backup plan in case Dorothy went out of control. Uh. In Lilia's mind, we hid a virus program that could destroy Dorothy. And in your mind, in your mind we hid a program, for, hit a program for, activating for activating the virus. The virus. That was five years ago. Dorothy fears the virus program more than anything else. 
Only you can retrieve the virus program from Lilia's mind. Well, damn, no pressure. Must save you must save kind, 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 kind. Hmm. False. That's just one ball. I need, I need a second one. So Galarians are genetically modified psychic human beings. Or not human beings, life forms. They're like create and they're created by a supercomputer. Is she just Um She's just uh Fuck. System shock. Uh Shodan! Dorothy just wants to be showed at. So, okay, we found the three ball, but like... We're missing a three and a nine, I'm pretty sure. Also... Don't... Is that room upstairs? Oh no, I think it's... At the end of the hall over there. Damn, okay. I didn't expect that we'd be going this long today, but... Fuck. Like, I want to get the end to the end of the section, because I feel like that's going to be the end of disc one. Especially with how long that FMV was. I guess I... I, I always... Uh... Underestimate how little room... A game with pre-renders... Kind of takes because the pre-renders are very small, file size wise. Oh, I just took the really long way to get here, didn't I? Is this where is this where pool happens? Yeah. Yeah, we're missing the three and the nine. I have the, th the three. What the fuck are you saying to me right now? Remember when we looked at the pond? And it showed me the billiard table and now I looked at the billiard table and it's showing me the pond? What are you talking about? Okay. There could definitely be enemies out here now. I wouldn't be incredibly surprised by that. No? Hmm. Okay, let's send to the... Oh, damn, okay. Wow, look at that car! Why does this car have eight wheels? Oh, shit. Why don't you just let it down gently? 
He's got the nine ball. He died with it. Probably on purpose. Uh, I can't. Thank you. Sucks you died. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back there. Now they kind of stopped, uh, putting those Mr. X enemies in the game, huh? It's just been the, the freak guys with knives since we killed all the G-men. Maybe there's only, oh yeah, I guess like maybe there's only a limited number of them, just, you know, for plot reasons. Yeah, I figured that would happen. All right. Hmm. It's dark and you can't see very well. What do you mean? Turn the lights on then, idiot. Oh, there we go. It seems weird that also we've only ever had two... Uh... I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna take these really quick so I actually have room in my inventory. Ow! Seems weird that we've only ever had two powers. Like if whoa. Feels like we should have more than that. What was that? June 9th. Today Lilia told me for the first time. She gained the power of telepathy five years ago after we had written the virus program to her brain. August 20th. I've seen men with black hats lurking around our house. I wonder if Dorothy has found out about the virus program. If so, Rian and Lilia must not remain at the same location. One of them must go, must go somewhere else. August 21st. I spoke with Dr. Steiner and we agreed to move Lilia to a new location. We must not let Dorothy have the virus program. She would surely kill them if she found out. August 23rd. I took Lilia to another location. Now I can only pray that Dorothy does not find her. The only way to communicate with her now is through telepathy. September 15th. This morning, I met a strange child near the gate. He was with those men in black hats who I've seen lurking about lately. I sense imminent doom. Huh. There's another child. The shed key. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting. Who are you? <laughs> Me? Why, well, I'm the bird man. Was Birdman! Who killed my family? No, it wasn't me. Nope. It was my little brother. Whoa. They died while he was rummaging through their minds. It must have hurt. <laughs> Your head must ache too. You'd better tell me how to contact Lilia. Or else. <clears throat> Damn you! Get rocked, loser! You stubborn fool. Is this a fight? This feels like a really tiny room for a fight. Why doesn't he just follow me? Obviously, I'm gonna go there. He's a bad guy, right? Like, he should know that.
Why does this like immediately remind me of Psycho Mantis? Oh, I just gotta go, I think. Why do they teleport in front of the door and then teleport away? Thus giving me the chance to escape. You should have stayed in front of the door, right? Like, that would make sense. I didn't even attack you. Stop teleporting, man. Like, it's... Okay. <laughs> like, stop. And, like, if you stop teleporting, you'll actually, it's more likely you'll get a hit off on me, man. The shed area seems like it'd be big enough for a boss fight. Right? That's just a big square. Or... Huh. What? What? Oh. Is that okay? Ow. Leon, they're looking for me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'll get there before they do. Who's that? Rion? Yes, it's me, Lilia. I'm sorry. Where are you? Rion, what did they do to you? I don't know, but don't worry. I'll protect you. I must protect you. <laughs> like, is Lilia in Requiem for a Dream right now? It's just as Papa said. He said you would come for me. And he told me that until then, I must continue sending telepathic messages to my doll until I contact you. Lilia, where are you? The Babylon Hotel in Michelangelo City. I'll be there soon. Hurry, Rion. Ah, that hurt. You better tell me where Lilia is. Your memory's coming back, isn't it? So... You've been watching me. <laughs> Ever since you escaped from the hospital. Ow! <laughs> I think I'm gonna short circuit. I've never enjoyed anything this much. <laughs> Man, what's your deal? Yeah, I figured this would actually turn to a boss fight. Oh! <laughs> Clearly I was not paying attention to AP.
Oh, I... What? Come on, man. What is he doing? Do I have more red? No, I have to use Nalcon now. To be fair, for Zara Boyle, so far none of the bosses have seemed to mind being lit on fire all that much. Is this... There's no way this is, like, the whole thing, right? Like, he's gotta have a second phase, right? Bro, are you fucking kidding me? What? After Cyborg Doctor Man. You better be careful. Careful of what? Why yourself? Of course. What the fuck? Lilia had continually called for me through her ragged old doll that was left in the shed. In her mind was hidden the virus program for destroying the insane computer. And in mine, the system for accessing it. My parents are dead. The day I killed a man I had just met. What a uh, nightmare this day has been. You've killed a lot. The day isn't even over. And I don't know what the future will bring. Ronnie, you recognize that you killed a lot of people, right? Like, the researchers, the guards, uh, the Robocops, maybe, all the freaks. That one? Why was that boss fight so fucking easy compared to Dr. Lem? Like, you would think as you get further into the game, the bosses would get harder, right? Not... Easier? Hey, look! That's disc two, baby! We do it! Uh, hold on. Let's... Hold on. I'm gonna... We're gonna... I'm gonna hit it. Uh... And then... We'll do a save state at the start of disc two.